Well, folks, it is Sunday and our third day here aboard the new Boogaboo. Um, not aboard, like staying on it, living on it, but our, uh, our third day here as we got here on Friday. And then yesterday, Saturday, we took off the shrink wrap and we did a, a, a very preliminary cleaning, just um, more of a neatening up, straightening up, putting stuff away and uh, getting the surface grunge off. Um, so the boat has, it's looking quite a bit nicer. Um, just being out in the open has, uh, has brightened things up quite a bit, as you can imagine, as well as just straightening things up down below and here in the cockpit area in the helm. And um, so we're, we're really happy with it. Of course, once we get the boat back home and have water and hot water, we're gonna do a much more thorough cleaning, more detailed cleaning. But in the meantime, I'll just, I'll just give you a quick look around so you, you get a handle on what the boat looks like, uh, the layout, and just keep in mind that the carpet back here in the cockpit is going to be replaced because it's filthy dirty. It's at the end of its life cycle. Um, as well as the carpet down below in the cabin. Uh, it needs a really good steam cleaning, uh, shampooing, and if that doesn't bring it up, we'll, uh, we'll replace that because it's not too much carpet down there anyways. As well as we're going to do a little bit of uh, upholstery work up in the, up in the V berth. We're going to have that redone. Apart from that, uh, we uh, we love the boat. We're really, really happy with our with our choice and our decision. Um, and um, I know there's already been comments as to why we downsize so much to uh, you know considerably smaller boat. And also there's been comments the other way, people saying, "Well, I thought you were downsizing. Why did you get such a big boat?" You know what? This is the boat that Anchor Girl and I decided on and we love it and this is perfect for us. It's, it's the right fit. It's the right size. It's not too small. It's not too big. It has all the features that we want and that we need for our boating lifestyle without going too far and without skimping as well. So we're happy with it. We love it and we're looking forward to uh, enjoying our first summer aboard as well as sharing some of our adventures with you guys. And all I gotta figure out now is where to mount my GoPro cameras. <laughs> I got a couple of ideas. So anyways, um, have a bit of the boat, take a look, and uh, by all means, let me know what you think. We hope to come back here next weekend. Again, take a, another look at the boat, hopefully maybe do a little bit more cleaning and um, do some polishing if it's not raining. I'd love to do the hull sides, hull sides, I should say. And before it gets launched, it looks like it's probably gonna be another two weeks before this thing gets to go in the water simply because the conditions it's mushy here and they're apprehensive about starting to move boats just yet but whatever we'll play that one by ear um yeah in the meantime that's it and we'll talk to you soon cheers thanks for watching if you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos coming out don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Daily updates there and always lively conversation on Facebook so you don't want to miss it. And you can also follow us at BoatsBeachesAndBars.com where you're going to find even more links to all sorts of neat things including our online store. And you'll find all the links to everything mentioned up here, down there, in the description. So you'll have no excuse not to follow along. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.